All right, I am going to be starting the seeds for the winter um, slash fall. And I have these um, 72 plug trays. Um, let's fill them with uh, some soil. I have filled two 72 um, plug trays with the soil. It's actually potting mix, the patio plus potting mix that I regularly use. Let's see how this performs this year. Um, all I did was I just like applied a layer of uh, potting mix and then just used my two fingers to push them in. So it's nice and tight. Now it's uh, time to put the seeds, label them, and then put a, another layer of uh, soil on top of it so it all settles down. Oh, before that, we are going to water. I'm just going to water the plugs really, really well. So the water is soaked in all the way before I throw the seeds in there. Hmm, looks like they're thirsty. Look at the way they're absorbing the water. Okay, cool, they're well soaked. Now let's go and sow the seeds. Okay, I'm starting with the piece and I'm planning to put two in a plug and when I actually plant the seedling into the ground both of them will go together and it would do just perfectly fine that way you don't have to separate them out oh that's just the right number of seeds okay let's just throw this in here one full row of peas done in the meantime i actually went ahead and labeled them um just so you know i don't lose track of things so far i have only sown the peas next i'm going to sow the cabbage seeds let's get started these are cabbage seeds <clears throat> look how tiny they are i am just going to start one per uh, plug and see how that goes this is the cabbage variety. It's the early Jersey Wakefield from Baker's Creek. Um, I just sow the seeds. I'm not sure if you can see them. There are a couple of them. In some plugs I did accidentally drop two, but I originally intended to just sow one in uh, per plug. Next I, next I am going to sow cauliflower. This is the variety I have. It's called Durgesh 41 and let's go ahead and sow them. Cauliflower seeds also look very similar to cabbage, you know, super tiny and uh, I'm going to put one per uh, plug. This is the variety of kohlrabi I'm going to be uh, growing this winter. Early white Vienna. Isn't it interesting, all these seeds look so similar. If you don't keep track of them and don't label them properly, it's going to be a surprise when you grow them. So this one, I am going to do two per plug. The theory is um, the root veggies can be more than one per plug. And obviously peas is not really root, but you know, it can be uh, grown a little tighter. It's, it'll work just fine. But the other varieties like a cabbage and cauliflower that take up a lot of space, I'm just going to do one per plug. All right, here you go. Let's sow the kohlrabi seeds. Next, I'm sowing beets. Um, 
I'm actually going to be following Charles Starting's method. He um, sows his uh, root vegetables really close together and then four or five in a cluster. And the theory is that, you know, they kind of like push out of each other and grow really well. And he has several videos explaining that process. And I'm really convinced that it's going to work. So I'm going to try that. So beets, I'm going to sow on an average of four seeds per plug. This is the broccoli I'm going to be sowing. This is not your typical grocery shop. Uh, broccoli doesn't give the big head. Uh, these are called the sprouting broccolis. They usually have these smaller um, heads, like really tiny ones um, that you just pick from the, the plant and then, you know, it keeps growing. And you can really eat, you know, some of the stem too. And it's pretty delicious and not just the head. I usually cook, you know, till this side this much and then just you know throw them in the curries and stir fries here's the broccoli seed again very similar looking to cauliflower cabbage and kohlrabi i'm going to be uh sowing one per plug all right guys so now this tree is completely filled with seeds it has snow peas cabbage cauliflower kohlrabi uh, the circular looking beetroot and broccoli. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a, a handful of soil and just cover them over so the seeds are nicely covered. Just like that. Make sure the peas are covered. Okay, I covered um, the seeds with a little bit more of the potting mix and this tray is considered done. So let's move on to our second tray. All right, in this second tray, I'm starting beets, the cylindrical looking ones, turnips, parsnip, Tom's thumb lettuce, purple carrots, and another variety of lettuce. Oh boy, I can't even read my own handwriting anymore. This is the beet variety we are going to be sowing. Look at these, aren't these gorgeous? I'm really looking forward to growing them. These look beautiful. Since these are expected to be really huge beets, I am planning on sowing two per plug. Unlike the other one where I uh, actually did four, I'm going to do two here. This is the turnip variety. I'm planning to grow and here's how the seed looks like this this one I'm actually sowing two per plug let's see how it goes next I'm going to be sowing parsnip this is called the hollow crown uh, it doesn't have the pretty packaging like the rest of the Baker Creek uh, seeds but that's okay I have seen pictures of this looks pretty interesting so let's go ahead and sew them and uh, again I'm planning to do two per uh, plug here and that should work just fine hopefully we'll find out all right finally a different looking seed I'm excited these are so different I have never seen anything like these before looks interesting all right, next we're sowing lettuce, Tom's thumb. This I'm just gonna just do, you know, one seed per plug. It should be sufficient for me and my family, I guess. Next, we are going to be sowing the cosmic purple carrot. As you can see, this was a free gift from um, Baker's Creek. Um, with most of your orders, they do send a free seed. Uh, packet so it's a pretty good deal to try out something new that you wouldn't have otherwise thought about this time I got the so I'm going to try sowing uh, two or three carrot seeds per plug I have never tried uh, uh, growing uh, carrots closer together before but you know gardening is an experiment after all so let's, uh, let's see how it goes I will keep you guys posted okay the last one for the day that is Paris Island this is again another free seed from uh, Baker's Creek 
Um, never tried this before, so we'll see. Finally, all my seeds are sown for the first round of winter slash late fall gardening. Um, I am planning to do more of a succession, succession planting. All right, my late fall slash winter um, seed starting is done. Today is August the 28th. I am planning to do more of a, a succession planting this year. So I probably will be starting one more set of, most of these are maybe even some other varieties of seeds um, in another three to four weeks time frame. So I have enough to go till the spring season starts. And um, if you didn't realize all of them are frost hardy vegetables here. Um, I live in California zone 9B, which is the Bay Area here in uh, Santa Clara, California. And we do get a frost, couple of frosts throughout the year. And uh, they are not so bad enough that they are going to kill any of these plants. Um, obviously, we don't get any snow. And uh, in fact, the colder weather is going to make a lot of these ground um root vegetables even sweeter than otherwise you would you know expect to have so i'm really excited and looking forward to having a winter garden going very soon thank you guys i'll keep you posted